Hi Earth Signs, I'm going to do your May 23rd um, life and love for today. Let's get started. Well, let me just pull now. Okay, so this is for Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Capricorn, you guys have the Eight of Autumn. Okay, it says do more research before proceeding. Education in the form of seminars, going back to school, or apprenticeship. Excellent craftsmanship and long-term projects. Look at that. So some of you are going to make some serious commitments Commitments here to um, really start something or begin or proceed to something that you're already in and then just reach that the highest level of it so like if it's like going back to school or you know like it says taking courses or seminars and doing something fucking long term and wanting to be the top of the food chain type of shit spirit is telling you that some of you are going to actually be doing that and they're advising you to do more research before you proceed because it's going to be good for you to do that. Okay, so Taurus, uh, Cap this was Capricorn Taurus. Taurus, you have the Four of Winter. It says, set aside your concerns for now. You can make a decision later. Solutions that come from meditation. The need for more sleep or a vacation. So, Taurus, if you've been feeling drained lately and um, there's certain shit that you're dealing with, Spirit is advising you to just, just take some time for yourself. It's okay to spend a whole day in the dark sleeping in your room with the AC on if you want to. Shit, who doesn't want to do that? You know, take, get some sleep, go on vacation, go somewhere with your kids or your family or just by yourself. If you just want to go to the beach and meditate for yourself so you can think clearly, put all your concerns aside, don't worry about shit. You can decide later. Think about yourself, your well-being, so that you can balance yourself out and you can make those decisions later. Uh, Virgo, you guys have the Prince of Autumn. Okay. It says dependable, protective, chivalrous, humorous. I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, cautious. But wise action, meticulous attention to detail, kindness to others. So you guys could be dealing with somebody like this or Spirit is advising you to be a little bit more cautious. Be cautious, but be wise about it, okay? Pay really close attention to details, whether that's in your conversations, whether that's at work or your, your romance life, anything, okay? And always be kind to others. I know it's really hard to do so, especially nowadays a lot of people are fucking jerks and assholes. So if you've been dealing with a jerk and asshole, just smile at them. Even though deep down inside you want to stab them. <laughs> Who does it? Alright, so I'm going to pull a Whispers of Love Oracle. Capricorn. Taurus. Virgo. Okay. Capricorn, be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. So for your significant other, make sure you're there to support them in whatever they want to do, whether that's um, if they want to do something on the side, whether that's them going on a certain vacation or doing something that you might not like. Just be supportive. Be there for them. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with being having a little support from your significant other. Just show them that you care. You could be so busy like with your career and everything, but always be there for people, especially love. Okay? Spirit is telling you to be more supportive. If you haven't been, be more supportive. Okay? Taurus, you guys have the miracles and blessings. It says, everything has its gift. Wow. Okay, so. 
like I was saying, when you need to spend more time to yourself so that you can balance your, sh your shit out. That could be a blessing in disguise as well. So if you go out and you take that vacation or you have some time for yourself, you're going to find the key or exactly whatever it is that you need to do. And it's going to come to you like, aha, you know. So it's miracles and blessings always happen every day. So everything has its gift. So whether that's you taking a little time for yourself or, or certain people are leaving or coming in or coming out or whatever it is, you know, everything has its blessings and its miracle in it. And everything happens for a reason as well. Okay, so Taurus, it says love makes the difference. I mean... Virgo, I'm sorry. Virgo, it says everything has its, um, love makes a difference. Man, I am starting to do, what's wrong with me? Okay, so, it says love can he help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. Wow. Wow. So, okay, so if you have been going through it with your partner, Okay, and you're not really sure whether or not you want to get back with them or you want to forgive them for certain things, whatever it is, it says spirit is telling you that love can help heal past hurts, okay, and provide a sense of security. So when you learn to forgive this person or they learn to forgive you, it kind of relieves you from those fears of them continuing to be that way or, you know, any situation, and it's telling you that your self-worth is also important too. So if it's really bad or it's causing you to like stress out all the time and you just know that you can't go back to this person or whatever it is, it's okay to love yourself. You know your self-worth. You know you're not meant to be dealing with this your whole life. You don't have to. Okay? Love makes a difference whether it's loving yourself first. Loving yourself first. Taking care of yourself. Okay, so I'm going to pull Romance Angel, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay, ah, actually no, this was here, I'm sorry, I put it in the wrong spot, okay, Capricorn, it says you deserve love, you are lovable, okay, so, if you've been feeling a little bit insecure about, man, nobody wants me, and blah, 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 playing the violin for yourself, come on now. You deserve love. Maybe people are saying, oh, you, you're a jerk, all you care about is work or your career, and you're not supportive, and you're not showing love, and I don't deserve love, or blah, blah, blah. That's that's all fear-based thoughts. But you, you, you do deserve love. Don't worry about it. Okay? Um, Taurus, you guys have, pay attention to the red flags. Whoa. The signs are cautioning you. So if you've been freaking stressed out, okay, if you've been stressed out about making a decision or having to take a break or whatever it is that's going on with you, pay attention to the red flags. If there's like something that that triggers a certain emotion or anything else that you're not, that brings that intuition in you that you're like, okay, this doesn't feel right. That's a red flag. Okay. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. That's your fucking intuition. That's your soul speaking to you. Don't ignore it. Virgo, you guys have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And that's what, that goes perfect with this card right here. Okay? Love makes the difference. Self-worth is important. And this one says self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So when you respect yourself, when you love yourself, when you know your worth, when you tell yourself I'm not dealing with certain bullshit, fuck, you're going to look like a badass bee. They're going to respect you for it. You set your foot down, set your boundaries down like you're not going to get away with this bullshit. I'm not going to deal with your fuckery. And that's that. 
and you're gonna look like a hot tamale doing that because you're putting your foot down. Okay, Earth Signs, this was your daily love and general life. Take it as you want it. And I will see you guys by Nana. Toot toot.